Well, good morning, everybody. Well, it's probably not morning where you're at or when you're watching, but it's morning here. It's uh, it's actually rainy. We got a big cold front coming in, but I did tell someone I was going to come find the ring today. So I'm going to head out. I'm going to try and find this ring. Uh, hopefully we get it. I got my detect perk cap on, so you know maybe maybe that will be the deciding factor, right? <laughs> No, I just, uh, just don't want to get wet. Just don't want to mess up this dew. Anyway, um, hopefully I'll get out there. I'll show you some clips maybe of, of finding that ring. Um, maybe I can get out and, and do some other hunting while I'm out there. So I don't know. Let's see. See you guys here in a little bit. Alright, so as promised, I did find what I was looking for. Now, I already did recover, but I do want to show you what it looks like on the detector because Platinum is so finicky. You can go anywhere from, you know, five, six, seven, eight, depending on the size. And then this actually kind of surprised me because I expected to find it about 10 to 12. But anyway, so check it out here. Popped up an 18. Let's see, you can see it right there. Anyway, so. Obviously, there it is. All right, so here's our ring. Now, I'm here with the homeowner, Bryant. Say hey. Hey, hey, look, so here it is. This is his actually first time seeing it. So I just want yeah. you guys to. You're excited as can be. There you go. Unbelievable. So. About 20, 25 minutes, and uh, checked out a whole bunch of different signals. Uh, but there it is. We found it. And uh, another happy ring recovery. See you guys on the next one. Wow, wasn't that just fantastic? Man, I'll tell you what. It took about 20, 25 minutes, and we found it. And it was in the, I believe it was the sixth spot that he thought it was going to be in. But By the way, every time I've ever done this, every time someone says it's, it's in one of these spots, it's never there. This time it was. Praise the Lord, we found the ring. Now, having said that, I'm back in the truck and uh, the, the rain is already moving in on us, so I'm not going to be able to get out today. Um, but uh, I have gotten out a few times since the last video. Just I found a couple things, just nothing spectacular to put a video together. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> Some cool stuff. <laughs> just, uh, Oh, by the way, I'm at, I'm at God's Chicken. I'm at, I'm at Chick-fil-A, so <laughs> uh, try, trying to wrap through this line. <clears throat> but anyway, I did find some cool stuff. I do want to show it to you. Uh, so without further delay, here's some cool finds. Well, hello there, everybody. I'm back at it again. Super excited to be back out here. I am just inside the woods where I found that staff officer's button on the last video. Today, I'm out here with Kelly. Um, Paul had to work, doctor had to work, um, but anyway, I found something, I wanted to wait till I found something to turn the camera on, it's kind of interesting, it's right down here, solid 1617, I was thinking it was going to be a bullet, because that's the signal, but it's a, it's a piece of brass, you see it right here, check it out, you recognize that already don't you? It's a key to the chest to where the gold's at. <laughs> now we just got to find the key and the chest. <laughs> but we found a, a little lock plate. Isn't that cool? Look at that. It's a big old skeleton key. I love to find that skeleton key. Man, that's really cool. All right, enough looking at that. Let's go find the rest of the stuff. I know it's out here. Be back in a minute. Well, this is interesting here. Um, kind of on a upslope of a hill. This is about how it read to 15, 16, 17. Matter of fact, that's exactly how it read. Really deep, really weak. 
I know you can't really hear the sound, but I finally got it. I was digging and digging and digging. I finally felt something hard and I popped it out and I hadn't moved it. But I see white, and the only time you see white like that is uh, if it's a patinaed bullet. But it doesn't look like a bullet. That's it. Get it out together. That is a fired Savor bullet. Look at that. There's the base of it right there. Nice. God, it's a nice uh, fired Savor bullet. Um, matter of fact, just on the top of this hill here in the woods, that's not it. I got, there we go, piece of melted lead. So I kind of felt I was in the, in the right place. Turns out I was. Hopefully we can get on to some more here real soon. So here's a promising signal. Yeah, I don't like how it's dropping. It's deep though. Let's see how deep with all this uh, leaky coverage. There we go. That's annoying, isn't it? That's why I usually leave the headphones on. <laughs> anyway, figure we do a live dig. Um, 15, 16 signal. I don't like how it dropped to 14, which means it could be a shotgun shell. <sighs> but buttons always bring up like that too, so. I don't know, I'm not finding a whole lot out here. In relation to that, uh, like freshly dropped Civil War stuff or a camp or anything like that, just that fired bullet, a couple pieces of lead, I'm gonna have to clean up. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. Alright, what do we got? What, I feel something right there. What is it? Is it a shotgun shell? It is a shotgun shell. Gotta be kidding me. Beautiful uh, Remington UMC Nitro Club. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Well guys, I'm out here, uh, well, still in the middle of the woods. And I just came across something extremely odd. I have found one shotgun shell and one piece of foil. <laughs> this is the last time we were together. Horrible, horrible trip so far. <laughs> and then I just dug this really deep signal. And the last thing I expected to pull out was a milk ponds jar <laughs> with the lid still on it. I haven't tried to open it to see if it's full of gold coins or not. Um, but then look, right here, it's another bottle. I'm going to put my gloves on, or a glove on. Uh, this case is broken. Nope. <laughs> what is this one? It's amber. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a me well, I was gonna say maybe a medicine, but I don't know. Whatever. It's got a lid. It's definitely not full of gold coins. You can see there. I wonder if there's more down in here. Well, good thing I put my glove on. What is this? I think I might have found like a. A dump or something here. Oh, here goes. Look at that. <laughs> Another bottle. Oh, look at that. <laughs> There's another one. Wow. It sure be nice if some of these were embossed or, I don't know, 50 years older, but still <laughs> pretty cool. I wonder if there's anything else in here. There's got to be. I might just dig this whole thing out since I'm not finding anything else. And apparently I'm not finding anything else. Let's see if I hear any metal. I don't have my probe out here with me. What I do have is my machete. So I'm just kind of poke around in here, I guess. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what was that? Alright, I'm not hearing anything else in there, metal-wise, or anything crunchy. Anyway, 
Eh, it's a whole bunch of bottles just thrown right there in the pit. Neato. Let's keep going. I almost forgot. I picked this up. I was going to put it away. And I said, oh, I forgot to show and see if there was... Hey, it says ponds right there on the top. See if there's any gold coins in there. But... <laughs> Tight. <laughs> There we go. Ew. Ew. <laughs> what is that? Probably some face... Oh, it smells too. Probably some face cream or something like that in there. Alright. We'll leave that there. <laughs> we'll take the bottles. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. They're, they're, not, they're not old. Alright. Let's keep going. Well, I'm right here at a hole. <laughs> Obviously, it's a hole, right? Uh, I'm right here at a hole that I just dug. I'm not far from the truck. Uh, we're going to go back and try and reconvene someplace else. But So this this was pretty deep. It rang up a 1516 on the Equinox. It's a complete railroad spike. Uh, I'm not far from the railroad tracks. It's not uncommon to have these in Civil War sites or Civil War camps. And I'm still right in the middle of one of them that we've dug in the past. Uh, but anyway, just... Uh, Goes to show it's never hunted out. I know it's nothing spectacular, but I don't know how we missed this. So, anyway, let's keep going. 